everybody welcome to my Christian Nook. my name's Linda and today we have part two of the Vega Star poncho and today we're going to put the two rectangles together to create a poncho I'll show you how to do that also um, I'll show you what I do around the neckline and then um, I'll put it on and I'll show you um, how it looks and then we will do a um, I'll decide then whether to I, I want to do a tr you know kind of like a shell edging but so yeah so there's my two pieces so I'm going to turn you to overhead and I'll show you what I'm going to do okay so as you can see I've laid out one of the rectangles this way and then this second rectangle I've joined I can, well I've not joined it yet but I've joined it so it's kind of at the bottom of the um, this this um, so what you're doing you've got um, a piece of your one rectangle going horizontally and then the second piece going vertically and what I like to do is I like to just get a stitch marker and mark it join both both ends together and then I will sew it so that's what you do so that is the first job that you need to do is to join both um, of your rectangles together and you've got about this much left so you should this is why it's important that this is 80 and this is 30 so you uh, 50 so you've got 30 centimeters left and this is going to be the opening for the poncho so I'm going to go away and I'm going to sew this bit and then I'll come back and I'll show you exactly um, what you need to do next. I hope that's self-explanatory. So you need one rectangle horizontally and then the second piece vertical and you join it and, and um, join it to the poncho. So I'll come back and I'll show you how to join the, the rest of it to create your poncho. Okay, so I've sewn them together. So what you need to do is you need to get this, the top part of this one here. And then you move it. So you've got your vert. So this is the, this was the vert, the, the vertical and this was the horizontal piece so you take your horizontal piece and you bring it over and you join it to this piece here and then that will form form the V here so let me just do this again right. I'll do it this way sorry I might I don't think I'm sounding right so this is the vertical you've joined it here so this is the horizontal piece so you bring your horizontal piece across and this edge here which is the 50 centimeter edge you bring it across to the here and you join it there like that it doesn't look like a punch at the moment I can assure, I know but um, that's what you do and you and then what I do I just join them with a stitch marker just so I, I, I kind of know what I'm doing she says hopefully but if I just join them a minute you'll see what I'm I can I'm just join this Here. Just use this one for now. Do this here. Right. 
side. So that's what you've got. That is what you've got. And then when you, and then that will then form your poncho. So that is how you form, make your poncho with the two rectangles and this is your neckline here. So I'm going to go away and and um, and join the last two pieces together, and then um, I'll um, take you across to the desk and I'll show you. Uh, I'll put it on so you can see it first, and then I'll um, I'll show you what to do for the neckline. So I will see you on the other side. Okay guys, well, the poncho is put together and as you can see, I'm, I'm coming closer to the um, camera so you can see um, how it's you, the join and then there's the join at the back there, can you see? And I'll just move the camera down a bit so you can see how it looks. And, that, and I will put photographs at the end. I'll put a, I'll put the poncho on Matilda so you can see. So what I'm going to do next is um, be, I'm going to do the the neckline. I'm going to do just a crab stitch because of the um, uh, and I'll explain that. And then on the bottom, I'm going to do uh, half double crochets all the way around and then I'm going to finish off with the crab stitch as well and um, just to just to neaten the poncho off so I hope how I put it together you understood if you don't just um, just email me um, but it, it, it is once you I think once you've done one um, how you put them together kind of comes together so to speak so I'm going to turn you to overhead I'll show you what I'm going to do to the neckline and then the edging around and uh, that is the Vega Star poncho finished okay guys so now I'm going to do the crab stitch now <laughs> I am left-handed so I'm um, if you can't follow this there are plenty of tutorials for right-handed um, crab stitch so I'm not going to start here and because if you can see here I've got I've got the um, the last um, rows so um, what first I'm going to do is I'm going to do a single crochet all the way around and I'm going to start about the middle I think really because I don't want to be here or here where the seams are I, I, I kind of like to start somewhere in the middle so what I'm going to do is I always when I'm joining my yarn I always do a slip knot a, a slip knot and then um, I take that off and I'll just put my hook through two stitches and I'm just going to do a, she says hold on there we go get the right yarn and then I'm just going to do a single I just do um, a chain um, a chain one here and then I'm just going to work my way round all the stitches and do a single crochet just to neaten it off and it makes it easy when you come to do the crab stitch I'm still using the same size hook that I used which is a 4.5 and, and that's all I'm going to do so I'm just going to work my way around the, um, the stitch so what I'll do is I'll continue on and then when I've got, got round to where I started I'll show you how I do my crab stitch so I'll see you on the other side guys okay guys I'm back to where I started so now we're going to do the crab stitch 
so we're going to be going backwards so I'm going to chain one and then turn my hook and go into the next stitch pull the yarn through so I've got two stitches and then I'm going to put them two together I hope you can see and then going into the next stitch I mean we all have our own ways of doing it so I'm going <laughs> kind of going back to front pull the yarn through and I've got let me do that again so I'm going to keep always keep the tension on this on your on your hand so I hope you can see so I'm going to twist my needle round pull the yarn through and I've got two two stitches on my hook yarn round needle and pull through and through oh gosh it's, it's always isn't it funny how when you do it on the camera you can never do it properly there we go I've got two stitches on my hook and then I chain and then exactly the same oops two stitches yarn over hook pull through pull through yarn two stitches on my hook And it gives it that nice nice edge and that is exactly what I'm going to do around the bottom of the poncho as well so I am um, I will show you I am um, I'm not sure whether to show you how to single crochet and then do the crab stitch round the end I think I um, I think you all kind of know how to single crochet and how to um, to do the the crab stitch so I'm on the next stitch so I pull my yarn through two stitches and as I said I'm left-handed obviously but I, I know there are a couple of um, videos out there for um, right-handed and so I just do it again and there we go so you're going to then go all the way all the way around the neck finish off tie in your loose ends you know weave them in and then I'm going to do you want to do exactly the same for the bottom the edge of the poncho single crochet and then um, the crab stitch but it's entirely up to you guys um, but I would recommend that you do do a single crochet even if you're not going to do um, you might want to do shells you might want to do something different but I, I, I like to finish up the ponchos with um with a single crochet around the edge it just neatens it off you know because this is the side of the um, poncho so you know when you were a crochet in the up um, and I just like to neaten everything off makes it gives it a more professional look I think so that's what I'm going to do and when I've done the neckline and the edge of the poncho I will put her on Matilda and you can see um, I'll, I'll show you the edging um, just to give you an idea but you I, I do round the neckline because it's not it's not wide I do like to do the crab stitch it just makes it look more uh, finished off more professional if you understand what I'm trying to say so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial these two tutorials if you've not seen part one go back I will put the link to part one in the in the description box below I want to thank everybody for um, leaving your comments on tutorial one um, I'm 
really really pleased and um, that you've enjoyed the tutorial and i hope you've enjoyed the tutorial for this but as i say with all my tutorials if you've got any questions just email me and again my email address is in the description box below i want to say a special thank you to angela for asking me to do this tutorial um because I was thinking about it and then I was, yes, I'll do it. No, I won't. But when Angela asked me, I thought, yeah, I will. I'll do the tutorial. And I'm so glad I did. And um, also, I, I'm going to love you and leave you. But as I say, at the end of the, when I've done everything, I'll put Matilda, uh, put uh, my Vega Star Poncho on Matilda. And then I'll video what I have actually done. Uh, to the bottom and all you need to do well all I'm going to do guys is a single crochet and the crab stitch and it's exactly what I've done here on the neckline that I'm doing on the edge of the poncho so until next time oh well not till next time I'll see you in a bit when it's all done okay guys the poncho is now finished i'm just going to pan down slowly so you can see and then i'm going to come up really close so that you can see how it finishes it off the crab stitch around the the neckline and then if i travel down you can see the stitches and then you can see let me see grab hold of it and you can see the edging where the crab stitch goes all the way around the bottom of the edge and it just give us, gives it a more professional look I am so so pleased with it and uh, i hope you enjoy the tutorial as i said before if you've got any questions please just um, email me my email is in the description box below that's all from me for today guys thanks ever so much for watching for commenting for the thumbs up guys don't forget the little thummies and I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now.